The following program is intended for mature audiences. Welcome! Ooh. It's gonna be one of those days. Excuse me for a moment while I Kiss the sky. shake off the assault charge that I almost just caught. Stupid motherfucker. So, I'm outside. Dude lives in this building. Is in a motorized wheelchair. Now, before y'all get crazy, me and him got the same shit. Only difference is I'm at level one. He's at level five. That's it. Only difference. So, he's in love with this chick that don't want nothing to do with him. And there's more to that conversation, but we don't need to get into all of that. Just because, I mean, I just deaded that motherfucker. Meaning, don't, you see me? Don't talk to me. We don't know each other. You understand? You gonna come at me like that? You can go fuck yourself now. Because I, oh God. Please, why, Jesus, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Lord? You're just trying to fucking, trying to stress me out, man, I'm telling you. So, a couple people outside, one of his buddies is with him. And they're talking about this girl. And how, you know, he's being used. And he gets defensive every time somebody brings this up. So, of course, conversation gets started. Now... I jump in just to be like, dude, I've been where the fuck you are. I know how this story ends for you. And it's not good. It's not good. You don't need all this bullshit in your life, dude. Whether you want to pay a bill or not is not going to fucking make the girl come back if she don't want to come back. Simple as that. He feels some type of way about this. Now he's going to tell me. Oh, well, she probably don't want to come back because of you motherfuckers. Meaning me, Jen, and a couple other people that live around here. And I was like, what? Nigga! Fuck out my face, nigga! Motherfucker, don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare try to throw some bullshit on me like that. Are you fucking crazy? She's not here because she don't want to fucking be here. And ain't none of us changing that. And you need to wake the fuck up and realize that you already know what the fuck I'm on, dude. You already know what I'm about. I'm honest. You don't like that too fucking bad because I'm going to tell you the fucking truth. You know why? Because if I, if I was up to some fucking retard shit, I would expect somebody that I call my friend to check me. Whether or not I wanted to hear it is a whole nother fucking issue. Doesn't matter. If you're really... If you're even semi-friends with somebody, you're not going to allow that person to do some dumb shit to themselves. But either way, conversation gets heated. He say, don't yell at me. I'm not yelling at you, motherfucker. This is my passionate voice. If I was yelling at you, you would know because the apartment complexes across the street and around the corner would be able to hear me fucking yelling. You ain't heard me yell. So don't even, don't even. Don't fucking even. Do you believe this dumb button pushing motherfucker had the audacity, the testicular fortitude to fucking. Even just seeing it makes you want to break something. Replaying it in my fucking mind. This fucking jerk off, this window licker, and I, whatever, whatever. It is, he is a fucking window licker because he ain't got no goddamn common fucking sense at all whatsoever. None. Whatever, that's your problem now, bitch. That's your problem now, bitch. And I know you ain't listening, but in case you do, fuck you. How's that? Fuck you. Fucking punk. Swear to God, bro. This motherfucker said I'll beat your ass. I said, motherfucker, I wish you fucking would. I wish you fucking would. I would knock your block off. How's this motherfucker gonna come at me in a motorized wheelchair, ram into my fucking leg, and say, I want to see you run, bitch. How about no, you crazy bastard? Oh, you do? Oh, you do? Because, I don't know, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! 
that's that's not really it's not in the cards it's not in the cards for me today uh the only thing the only things that i run from are dogs and cops and looking in front of me you don't fall under that category sir so i ain't finna run no fucking where that's number one motherfucker hit into me dude i had a fucking cigarette in my hand when he said, after he rammed into me, and he said, I want to see you run, my hand went back at an instinct, and I was about to swing on him. Not because I wanted to, like, you know what I mean? I, it's, it, you should know. If somebody comes at you, your fight or flight kicks in, and there it all goes. At a certain point, the situation is out of your hand. Plus, with me being, you know, having the mental issues that I got on top of all that already... Well, I mean, I'm leaving some shit out. The thing that really set me off was he had the balls to look at me and say, you know, I wish I had a gun right now so I can end my fucking life. I said, fucking bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck are you talking to about suicide right now, motherfucker? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Do it. Do it, fucker. Bring me the gun up. Do you not remember that me and you have the same shit? What, you don't think I fucking don't want to get up in the morning and get out of fucking bed because everything hurts because I'm not in a fucking wheelchair, you ignorant motherfucker? You don't think I feel shit the same way that you? Well, the difference is you could walk. So fucking what, bitch? So fucking what? I know you had crutches, you could walk too. Instead, you rolled around in a motorized wheelchair. So, whatever. It ain't the fucking point, dude. All that plus the girl shit led up to that. I had my hand raised about to swing on him, and I, I noticed the cigarette in my hand. And when I looked over at the cigarette, I saw Jen standing there. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth doing six months, throwing the apartment away, and everything that we've fucking done to get to where the fuck I'm standing right now. It's not worth it. And I fucking, I, I walked away, dude. It was very difficult to do, but I fucking did it. And he was like, yo, you're, you're fucking scared. You're fucking scared, you fucking pussy. I was like, bro, if you could walk, I would knock you the fuck out. If you could stand up, I would knock you the fuck out. Do you understand? I would beat the shit out of you. <laughs> fuck you. And like, I really, I really, like, this motherfucker has a mouth. I have a mouth. This motherfucker's mouth is worse than mine. Because he's disrespectful. All of the time. All of the time. Not sometimes, all the time. Even when he's joking around, he just says shitty fucking things. And he thinks like that fucking wheelchair is going to save him. He thinks that wheelchair is going to save him. It's not. He should have got punched in his fucking mouth. Lucky for him, I'm not much for jail. So fuck all that. Plus, he is the kind of pussy that would get punched in his fucking mouth and he would call the fucking cops. That's the kind of bitch that we're dealing with here. Oh shit, this bitch got a dick. Nope. I don't do that shit, bro. I took every loss in my life the way that a man is supposed to take a fucking loss and then shake it the fuck off. Did it hate you to think I took a loss when all I did was shook it off? Yeah, you heard me, shook it off. You don't get the cops involved. Especially not over some foul-ass doping bitch, dude. You don't do it. But whatever. Fucking asshole. Like, I, I, I swear to God, dude. He better not come up to me tomorrow trying to apologize and be my fucking friend because that's not happening. Don't get scared now, nigga. Finish it because you started it. Watch the grow out of control. Now you want no part of it. I'm done with him now. For good. For fucking good, dude. I don't care what the fuck that makes me sound like. I got no patience for that. If you could flip that fucking easily, and I'm just trying to help your stupid ass the fuck out by telling you some hard truths that you don't want to hear, because I can hit you on a whole nother level than your friends can hit you, because none of them are disabled, and that fucking cry for me bullshit, I'm disabled, don't work with me. 
Because I got the same shit you got. You don't see me walking around throwing a fucking pity party. Sack the fuck up, motherfucker. Just shit you got to do in fucking life, bro. You look at your fucking circumstances and you deal with them like a man. You don't fucking bitch up. You don't bitch up in the face of a fucking challenge. That's not what you do. But you want to go out over a fucking girl. Over a fucking girl who's telling people that live in your building. I didn't even have the heart to say this to him as mad as I was. She going to talk about how he did he did some inappropriate shit. He don't know all about that, though. But you're talking about you want to pay your fucking bills, dude. Come on, B. I just heard some shit about you. Some foul shit. Fuck is the deal? He's a trick. He's a fucking trick. All day, every day. But you know what? That's all right. I'm done with him, dude. I have no patience for that. I've cut people off I've known for 20 fucking years. I've known you for a few months. If you croak tomorrow, I would not give a fuck, dude. Sadly, it's true. I would not care. You don't impact my life that much. God damn. You can't just hit them niggas with that dame and expect them to accept it. Girl, you hurt niggas' feelings. And there's been times where I've actually sat up here and really thought about a situation, dude. Like, really. The fucked up part is, earlier today, he was trying to get me to hang with him. Trying to get me to hang with him, dude. And now you want to fucking flip and, and try to fight me. Can't even raise a hand to make a fist. And you want me to fight you when you're using your motorized chair as a fucking weapon. Like a bitch would. Please. Please, dude. I can't. I can't deal with that. There's some real fucking bitch shit. There's another word that I would love to use to describe this person. But out of respect for the fucking LGBTQ community, I won't use it. Even though I would love to, because that's my go-to, that's my go-to word. Motherfucker said, I would, I would, when he said, I want to fucking kill myself, I told that bitch to sack up. He's going to talk about, I would fucking, I would kill you with the first. I told him, I, if I had a gun, I would hand it to you. Don't talk that shit to me, because I know you're not about that. I know you're not about that, you attention-grabbing motherfucker. You ain't really about that, dude. People that are really about suicide, eight out of ten times, don't go around announcing it. Most people don't. Is In my experience with the friends that I've had in my own personal struggles and situations, you try to hide it from everybody. You put on a face and you pretend like everything is okay when it's not. Meanwhile, you're walking around and you're looking at other people who are happy and you can't even begin to grasp what that emotion feels like. I've been there. And I understand everybody reacts differently. But you can tell the difference between when somebody's trying to say some shit for effect and when they actually mean it. I've spent countless, countless nights talking people out of fucking suicide, dude. Countless nights. And I've had people talk me out of some shit. There have been nights where I'm on the floor in fucking pain. And if I, if I, had, if I had the balls, I would. If I had the balls, I would have just ended it. But I didn't. That's why I'm still sitting here. It's not because I sacked up and just now I can say that. In the beginning, it was difficult. Growing up, and I'm not farting, I'm sitting on an exercise ball because I'm a piece of shit. And instead of using it to exercise on it, I'm using it as a chair because that's the kind of all star I am. Got a lot of balls talking about other people. Fuck, man. Just stu it's just stupid. There's no there's no need for all that. I just I don't understand how many more people you gotta alienate before you wake up and get it. Before you wake up and get it. Even if there's even if there it was a woman or if there's anybody else out there, if you're into men, whatever your deal is. If you were heavily into somebody and they're not returning the favor, isn't it your friend's fucking duty to let you know that you're going too far? But no, instead you want to fucking cancel everybody around you for trying to talk sense into your fucking brain. Well, you know what? 
your problem now, dude. When she gives you fucking AIDS, I don't want to hear nothing. She never would do that because she wouldn't fuck you. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Unfortunately for you, she would never do it. And I, and I kind of felt bad for him in the beginning, talking to him. Not today. I mean, when I first started to get to know him, because I seen shit that she was doing. Fucking dudes in his house while he's right there. A couple of weeks ago, she did some foul shit. And he still sticks up for her. So you get what you deserve. You get what you fucking deserve. I just hope sooner rather than later, she hurts him and get it over with. Not because I want the kid to be hurt. Simply so that he can fucking be through it and be done with it already. Because it's enough now, man. Now you're making an enemy out of me. And I know the sick part is, I know that part of that kid's anger is because I can walk and he's not walking. That's not my fault, dude. I'm sorry I'm not in a wheelchair like you. You're not supposed to wish bad things on other people because you can't do what they can do. Even though you could say, well, you just wish something bad on him. Yeah, but it's for him to come out of the other side of it and be the person he's supposed to be. Not this cold-hearted piece of shit Captain Save-A-Hoe motherfucker that he is right now. The shit that I could say on here would be so disrespectful. It's not even fucking funny. But I'm not even trying. I'm not trying to take it there. I'm not trying to take it there. And I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will fucking wind up calling me down to the apartment office. And I'll I'll get in trouble in one way or another. Or the cops will wind up kicking the door in over some dumb shit. But, whatever. Whatever. That's how you want to do, bro. You ain't going to get far in this life. I hate to break it to you. I hate to be the one to break it to you. But... You wonder why when you look around, there ain't nobody around. There's a reason for that, dude. Because you're pushing everybody away. But you can't, like Ron White said, you can't fix stupid. You can't. And when somebody is love drunk, dude, no no amount of coffee in the world is going to sober them up. None. And it's not even like, ugh. I know so much about this chick too, dude. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I knew her before I even moved here. I saw the shit that she was on. I tried to tell him he wasn't trying to hear it. So, that's your loss, pal. Now you lost out. You lost out on somebody that was trying to be good to you, bro. That's your fuck up. Everybody's the enemy but you. I'm telling you, bro, playing that disabled bullshit and being a dickhead to everybody is not going to fly. It's not going to fly. Somebody else would have punched that kid dead in his fucking snot box. Wouldn't have had a second thought about it. It would have been like, well, you get what you deserve. You want to fucking run your mouth like a man, you get punched in the face like a fucking man. It's not worth it for me to risk everything. That we work so fucking hard to get here, dude. The fucking welfare motels, sleeping on people's couches. You know, and that doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is a big deal. Sleeping in a fucking car outside of the welfare motel, that's when you know you're doing bad. When you have to sleep in a car outside the welfare motel because the state is not looking to fucking, they don't have funds at the moment, so you can't even stay in a hotel, we had to straight up go to the fucking guy who was running the joint, and be like, dude, is it alright if we park the car here, and then we would fucking leave, before he would come into his office, so that he wouldn't see us fucking sleeping in the car, he don't know nothing about that, he don't know nothing about that, dude, you know what? how I know, because, you have no heart. You have no heart in you. He has no heart in him. At all. You're just bitter and fucking angry. And dude, I get it. I get it. 
And catch me on the right day, and I'm the same fucking way, man. Took me a long time to get over my anger, and I'm not even all the way over it. I'm just trying now to get to a point where I'm not taking it out on the people that are around me for shit that isn't their fault. Now I do still have a tendency to go off on a little of shit that annoys me, but trying to get better every day. That's all you could do. Is just try to get better every day, not continue to do the same dumb shit over and over again. And plus, you know what? I enjoy doing this. This is also another thing that comes into my mind right before some dumb shit has the opportunity to present itself. Like, look at what you're doing, dude. You're building shit. This is what I say to myself. I don't know if somebody's coming up. You're building shit. And you're gonna throw it all away for what? For fucking what? Fuck, you think you tough? A moment of weakness? That's really what it is. A moment of fucking weakness. Because you wanna give in to your fucking stupid emotions. Not worth it, man. Now, would I be sitting here telling you the same story if there was. If there was no such thing as an assault charge, I can't guarantee you that. Can't guarantee you that. On the other hand, what's the point? Is this motherfucker going to learn anything if I belt him in his mouth? Nope. If anything, because he's hard-headed and stubborn, like me, he will think that that will cement his position. He'll think that that makes him even more justified. And he'll try to wear that as a badge of honor. Be proud of it. I mean, I'm not even looking forward to the fallout just from this. This is why I hate dealing with bitchy people. If you can't fucking handle shit, dude, don't start it. I told that motherfucker to roll in the house. Go ahead, go. Get the fuck away from me, man. I'm not running away from you, dude. It's not happening. You don't understand where the fuck I come from. And I'm not from a tough place. I mean, in my life, dude. You don't understand the amount of shit. The amount of dirtbags and assholes that I had to fucking deal with to get here. And you think I'm gonna run from you? <laughs> You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. You know, if I was smart, I would have turned it into a gimmick, and I would have told him to give me the other wheelchair, and we can sell tickets, and give him a pair of boxing gloves, tell him we can fight like that, to have him warm up for a couple of days so he can move them arms around pretty good. That's nasty. Then we can fucking fight all he wants. Do it, settle it how they used to settle it in the old days. Oh, you got a problem? Put the gloves on, bitch. We're going out back. Better man wins, and then you shake hands when it's over, and that's fucking it. You don't have to send a postcard, you save a couple dollars when Christmas comes around, I don't have to go to your stupid birthday party, none of that shit. Oh, come on now, I feel ridiculous. But no, people don't get down like that anymore. And this kid's 20-something. I mean, I understand I'm 10 years his senior, but still... We're not that far apart in age, bro. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was just as wild, if not more wild, when I was younger, even as a child. Okay, so I'm going to just add on to the fucking story. As I thought, one of the fucking workers from his deal came over to us. We were sitting outside. And she walks over and she was like, yeah, I heard about... I heard about what happened, you know, Tusty. Well, I just said his name, whatever, edit it out later, fucking asshole called me and told me that he blacked out on you, and, you know, Jim made a valid point, first of all, dick face, if you black out, you don't remember what it is you do, you can't recall every fucking detail as it happens, stupid, that's the first thing, second thing is, this motherfucker 
is he's got a lot of people fooled. He's got a lot of people fooled. He ain't fucking fooling me. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right fucking now. She's like, well, you know, he doesn't understand. He doesn't process shit the the way that he's supposed to process it. Me and him got the same thing. So I don't know who you're fucking trying to play with. Telling me he don't process shit the way that he should. Uh, fuck that. Yeah, he does. And you're not going to convince me otherwise. He just plays everybody. And he hides behind that fucking chair and his disability like that's going to save him from getting his ass whooped. And it's not. Yeah, fuck that. I just, you know, this. I just want to come on here and say. He's just lucky, man. I didn't want to do a fucking a year in the county. I, I really didn't. Because I did look up. I did look up assault and I looked up self-defense laws in New Jersey last night when I came upstairs because I was so fucking heated. Turns out, we all know what assault is, right? Assault is when you injure or attempt to injure another person without legal justification to do so. Now, I don't know what the fuck legal justification would be because that'll bring me to my second point which is what self-defense assault and self-defense that's right so self-defense law in new jersey is like this that you know give or take i'm going to paraphrase the law a little bit but it basically says that a person does have the right to defend themselves if they feel that they are in danger however you have a legal responsibility and are expected to walk away first you have to you literally, you have no choice. After you get punched in your face, you're supposed to walk away, right? So that means somebody cracks you one and you say, Bye, have a great time. All right, well, I'm, I'm not doing this with you. I'm walking away. Now, this person comes running after you and goes to hit you again. Then and only then do you have the right to defend yourself. Now, back to the assault charge real quick. I did discover... As I thought that it is in fact a class 1 misdemeanor. However, even though it is a class 1 misdemeanor, it does carry heavy, heavy sentences with it. Like, what I mean is you can do most of the time when you go to court for an assault charge, apparently you get the you get the maximum now i'm sure that the maximum could be deeper than this but it says that it ranges anywhere from six months to a full calendar year in the county or local jail whatever the fuck that would be accompanied by a twenty five hundred dollar fine and that's just for starters now i'm sure the fine could be more than you get into lawyer fees court fees, hospital bills, whatever the circumstances called for. So apparently, last night, I would have been in my legal right to punch this fucking fruit cup in his mouth, but that still would not have stopped me from going to jail. And like I said in the beginning part of this, I got too much... I got too much going on. I fought way too hard to get to this point in my life. I've been out of trouble for 12 fucking years. 13, possibly going on 14 years. I've kept myself out of trouble. I did not do all of that hard work, ducking and dodging bullshit to be caught up in something this fucking stupid. And also, as I predicted... You know, he called me at fucking 8.15 this morning. Now, I don't have to tell you. Like, if, even if we don't have problems, if you're calling me that fucking early, we better already have plans or you better have a good fucking reason for calling me that fucking early. Because there's just no, there's no reason why I want to talk to somebody that early in the morning. I just don't. I want to, you know get 
adjusted to my fucking day, dude. I, I don't want to deal with you. So I didn't pick it up, obviously. Why are you bullying me? And then he had sent the message through a couple of people that live here that he wanted to talk to me. So I purposefully went out of my way to make sure he saw that I was ignoring him. Like, trying to put it across nicely. I don't want to hear anything that you have to say, right? Well, of course, that didn't fucking work. Because, I guess, processing, whatever, doesn't work. So, he rolls up on me outside. And he's like, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I was like, talk. He goes, listen, I just want to say that, you know, I'm sorry. And... I overreacted and I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done what I did or said what I said. I was like, okay. Boom headshot. He was like, oh, all right. Like he didn't know he didn't know what to do. So I told him straight the fuck up. Like I told y'all last night when this shit happened, I'm done now. I don't. First of all, I don't know you long enough. For me to allow you to get away with some bullshit like that. That's number one. Number two. You went for a weakness. Intentionally. To try to hurt me. That's fighting dirty. Some of you might say. Well that's just fighting in general. No that motherfucker knew exactly what he was doing. And then to cement. we are, I already knew this. Because he told me this. Privately. Which I didn't announce to the fucking world like he was trying to put my business out in the street last night. But I'm smart enough to know anything. I don't tell anybody anything that I haven't already said to Jen myself personally. So if there's a detail that concerns us, if I'm telling somebody about it, I've already spoke with her about whatever the situation is. This one is... Concerning insecurity. A lot of people have insecurities. And, you know, when he was talking about this fucking bozo that he's in love with. <laughs> Can you just say how funny it is that I called her a fucking bozo? <laughs> oh, fuck all of you. That wants nothing to do with him, which we'll get into the details of that in a little bit you know i brought up to him to try to make him feel better and also so that he can kind of relate that you know look i mean i think that she's gonna walk out the door i don't i don't have any reason to think otherwise just because that's the way my brain works that doesn't mean that i don't think that she what I'm trying to say is that doesn't mean that I don't think she... That's not how I would... Hold on. How am I going to put this? I know that she cares. By saying that, I'm not saying that she doesn't care about me, she doesn't love me, whatever the whatever the situation is, right? But that's just... That's what I think, and there's no way to get around that. So I told him this, and then and now that you physically fucking have attacked me and now you're going to scream at me that you know i'm a fucking i'm a fucking loser and i'm worse than he is because of the fact that i'm with somebody that i shouldn't even fucking have i don't deserve her uh you know i'm worse than he is because I think that she's going to leave me or whatever. He's yelling this in front of everybody loud enough for every person in this complex to hear him. So, I like I said, I tell her straight up already. That's the kind of fucking deal that we have between each other. So, if I, if I had not done that, though, you just put my whole business out in the fucking street, right? So now you want to come to me the following day and you want to apologize to me and think that I'm supposed to go, oh yeah, you know what, don't worry about it. It's completely fine. Everything can go back to normal just the way that it was a couple hours ago. Nope. 
No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Because if anything, you have demonstrated to me, one, that you cannot be trusted with information. Two, you're a fucking dirtbag. Three, you fight dirty. And, you know, you you don't you don't respect anything. Talking about, I told y'all, he pulled the suicide card, trying to pull the feel bad for me because I'm disabled bullshit. We got the same thing, bro. Don't, don't do that. You forget what the fuck you're talking to. Talking about, I wish I had a gun so I could shoot myself. Motherfucker, please. You're not about that. But you know, that's the other thing too. Using something like that for attention. That's some punk shit. So I'm just supposed to override all that and go, oh no, it's cool. Meanwhile, I know that you will still, you will still hate my guts. You're only fucking, you're only apologizing because everybody that was there told you what a piece of shit you were for acting the way that you did when all I'm trying to do is fucking help you. Don't step on the computer. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I'm trying to help you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not gonna fucking yes you to death and only tell you what you want to hear. But his fucking worker was like, dude, he only takes in what he wants. Yeah, so that's different. Not being able to understand and process something is different from only accepting the parts of whatever it is that are convenient for you to believe and i'm gonna pause here quickly so i can go run and get that goddamn cannoli that i was supposed to get for the past three days and fuck this motherfucker for giving me a migraine two days in a fucking row because now when i see him my fucking hands start shaking and i get all fucked up because i want to crack him even though i'm not going to and we'll we'll finish this out in a little while the definition of cerebral palsy also called cp is a collection of disorders caused by abnormal brain development or damage to the brain around the time of birth or early in life Cerebral palsy is a motor disability, meaning it affects a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. Can we address the fact of how fucking ridiculous this music is, dude? Like, you had to you had to pick the most uplifting music that you can find because that that makes a whole lot of sense with the topic that we're talking about here. What causes cerebral palsy? Some causes of cerebral palsy include bleeding in the brain. Infections of the brain, including meningitis or encephalitis. Seizures at birth or in the first month. Certain genetic conditions. In some cases, healthcare providers are unable to determine the cause of a child's cerebral palsy. One of my favorite things is that they actually did not mention that a lot of cases, at least back in the 80s, were caused by lack of oxygen to the brain which is if you look up the if you google what the causes are that would be one of the most common causes that you will find from a fucking uh mistake made during the birth of a child but let's not let's not talk about the doctor's mistakes at all we can't mention that because we have to look like good guys right now in the beginning cerebral palsy is diagnosed primarily based on the physical findings uh, but we know that cerebral palsy is a diagnosis that relates to some problem with the brain and some injury that happened to the brain or some abnormality with how or difference in how the brain was formed i'm i'm really blown away by the professionalism that this doctor has displayed uh the brain's fucked up that's what we kind of uh, figured out and we can't really see anything as far as brain damages are concerned i mean i know that there's things that are like you know mris and CAD scans and shit like that, but really we just wait for the kid to try to walk around and if he face plants or tries to eat finger paint, then we know that we might have a fucking winner on our heads here. <laughs> CP is a permanent condition, but it's not progressive. That means that the brain damage can't be reversed, but it won't get worse. 
but abnormal muscle tone or motor control can shorten muscles and deform bones. Early intervention and appropriate treatment can help ease symptoms and improve a child's abilities. I don't know about all that. I mean, honestly, they say that the physical therapy is supposed to help and all that shit, dude. But all it really does is it just puts you, it puts you immediately back to where you're supposed to be. It's like going to a chiropractor. It's only a temporary, it's like a band-aid, dude. That's all it is. It's a band-aid. Because you're stretching, you're stretching your muscles that are extremely tight out. And then by the time you wake back up in the morning, they're going to be just as tight as they were yesterday. So you're constantly, it's the definition of insanity. I mean, maybe they've changed or they're just trying to give people hope and I'm shitting all over it. So maybe I shouldn't do that. An average of one in 323 children in the U.S. have CP making it the most common motor disability in childhood. Uh, excuse me, but I don't know if you're aware of this, but children do eventually grow up to be adults in most cases, so I don't know why you're concentrating so strongly on childhood specifically, but those people do become adults. And I find it fucking hilarious that... All the treatment centers that they have are for children. Once you hit anywhere from, like, I don't know, say 20 years old, as an example, that's there's nothing they could do for you. They don't give a fuck about you anymore. It's fucked. Completely. Again, maybe shit's changed. I doubt it. There's more to it, but the fucking... The computer is not having it, dude. There are different types of cerebral palsy, depending on which part of the brain is affected. A person can have mild cerebral palsy or may have a more complex form. Spastic cerebral palsy is caused by damage to the cerebral cortex. It causes stiff muscles, also called spasticity. It's the most common form of CP. Spastic cerebral palsy can affect different parts of the body. And of course, there's more shit. Well, first of all, we're back in the fucking, in the program here. More shit, more shit happened between when I left this thing, it was, this recording has gone from the night it happened to the following day to now we're, I think, two or three days removed from the fucking original ordeal. And if you can believe this, this motherfucker actually started shit with somebody else except it got way worse now i told you i'm done with this fucking kid i've gone out of my way to not be around him because i don't i can't even look at him it makes me want to punch him in his fucking mouth but either way you know, I mind my own business. I was sitting outside yesterday. It was away from everybody. And I'm listening to uh, Bernie Sanders on Joe Rogan just to see what the fuck his thoughts and ideas are. Because he's had, he's had a couple people on his podcast already. But that's, that's not what we're here to talk about. So either I have my headphones in. I don't hear shit about what's going on. I can't see anybody... And out of nowhere, dude, there's a bunch of yelling. And I don't, I think that's not out of the norm. That's not out of the norm. People are always loud around here. So I don't really think much of it. I just turn my volume up and I continue to mind my own business, right? A couple of minutes later, Jen walks over to me. And she's like, dude, you're not going to fucking believe what happened. This fucking dickhead in the chair went at somebody else. Except now is to a different dude in this building who, again, was just trying to be cool with them. And for whatever reason, I guess when this kid drinks, the one in the chair, when he drinks, he becomes a fucking an asshole. He really shouldn't. So he was, I guess, in his own head, and he looked at the one dude. He was like, "Yo, I'm sure after, after my friends leave, you you're not gonna be hanging out with me anymore." 
And he was like, dude, I don't understand where you even where you even got that from. And now this is all secondhand information, but that's basically what the kid said. I need to come up name with names for these people. So we got wheels. Wheels, and then the other dude from the building, I have to come up with a name for. Fuck. I mean, Jen called him Bow Wow in the beginning. You know, before we knew what his name was, so we'll just do that. Bow Wow and Wheels. So Bow Wow says, I don't know, I don't know where the fuck you're getting all that from, dude. Like, just chill out, man. There's no, no reason for you to be like that. And apparently, Wheels started flipping out. Like, hey, how about, you know what, how about you shut the fuck up? Well, here, you can, since you're up, you can help me understand what the fuck happened yesterday. How did this happen? And just so everybody knows, Wheels and Bow Wow are their names for this. So that, Hot Wheels. Yeah, Hot Wheels, that's even better. That's because he gets fucking hot real fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, hold on, I'll pause it. And I'll wait for it to go away. So, back with a flash. Hey, I mean. But what the fuck? What, from what I understand, what you were telling me yesterday was he Hot said, Wheels. Hot Wheels said to Bow Wow, like, I know after my friends leave, you're not going to be hanging out with me anymore. That's not actually how it started. Okay, well, how did it start? Well, you know, because that's actually how the fight started, but not the argument that. Okay. Got to the fight. Okay. Okay. Fucking Hot Wheels was supposed to go with his friend and his wife and, uh, his friend's wife and his two kids to Florida, remember? Yeah, so they're supposed to, they're up visiting. Well, remember, Hot Wheels is supposed to go with them with his friend that is going to drive Everybody there. Yeah, but I thought but he wasn't going Hot Wheels, anymore. Yeah, now Hot Wheels isn't going. Now Hot Wheels friend, you know, that was supposed to drive them. Yeah. Said, why should I fucking take them? You know, he's going to Florida no matter what. Right. His friend. Yeah, because he has you to know, go back be- home. No, 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 the driver. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Both of them, uh, both of his two friends have to go to fucking Florida anyways. But his friend called them up last night. And because Hot Wheels was like, you know, well, why am I, you know, why do I have to fucking call him, you know, and the person that is visiting, you know, said, well, I never asked you to keep on calling the driver. Yeah. And, you know. So basically what you're saying is he got, Hot Wheels got into an argument with his friend that was visiting, and that's what started to set him off. Bow Wow was uh, defending. His, yeah, defending defending the dude. Yeah, because he has kids and. So he was like basically chill out. Bow Wow said to Hot Wheels, fucking, how are you going to do that to your fucking boy that you begged him to come out here and he delayed his trip, you know, to go down, uh, yeah, to go down to Florida with you. But now you canceled, and now you trapped them up here. Yeah. Without a way of getting back. So that's how the argument started between them. It was, he was like, basically... Bow Wow said that to him about, yeah. you know, how can about you do his that friends, to your yeah. fucking No, I boy. get that part. So I'm assuming that... Hot Wheels didn't like that. Yeah, and he was like, well, why don't you shut the <laughs> fuck up? What, uh, why don't you fucking mind your own business, you know? It's not like you are going to be my friend after they fucking leave, uh... Bow Wow said, what the fuck do you think? Like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. And he, you know, said the N-word. Bow Wow. Yeah. You know, uh, you fucking kidding me? You know, how did I meet them? Through yeah. you, right, bro? Yeah. And then fucking Hot Wheels, you know, just fucking going off. You know, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're not my friend. And fucking Bow Wow was like, what are you talking about? You know, how d- how did I met uh, how did I meet them? You know, through you. So of course I am your friend. 
and Hot Wheels goes, probably not anymore after this. You know, and then Meaning the, the argument. legs start going. Meaning the argument. That he started an argument with them, so we're not going to be cool after this because I'm starting shit with you. Basically. So, or that he thinks that you're, uh, he is going to be like you, where you're just like, I'm not going to be friends with you. But that would be childish, you know, because of over-argument. You know? Yeah, but he did do it was different because he tried to actually fucking... No, he did. He punched Bow Wow in his face. Well, I didn't even get, we didn't get to that yet. So, they're arguing, now, he, did he just roll up on him and punch him in the head? Well, Bow Wow's With, girl. With, like, no warning? Yeah, because Bow Wow's girl. Who is, pre- who is pregnant, by the way? This is how much of a piece of shit this fucking kid is. And with, okie You know, with one of her kids. You know, fucking, because they went baby shopping for, you know, the little, Bow Wow's yeah. girl's baby. Yeah. You know, fucking, uh, so he's walking over there, you know. So he, Bow Wow goes to walk over to his girl, girl in the car and up. Hot Wheels rolls up on him and punches he's him. Fucking, you know, flipping out. And no, he was still trying to charge him with his chair. So the same shit he did to me, because he tried to do to him. he was down on the him. curb at first, you know, and he was saying, like, you know, Baba was saying, you know, don't, you know, just fuck with him at first because he thought that, it was know, all Hot fun and was jokes, just yeah. Fucking just getting hyped and he thought it was funny. Yeah. Well, that's what it looked like because he was fucking smiling. Yeah. You know, because I can't tell with him because, you know, he does that... A little weird smile. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and he goes, bro. You know, to fucking Hot Wheels. Yeah. You know, you better not run. Uh, you better not come after me with that chair. And fucking, he's like, I'm not. I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not. And, but, but that he was exactly like, what but he, he is doing it. He's trying to creep closer and closer to him. But he will, but then he will back away. Pretend to go somewhere uh, to drive away in his chair and then come back, you know, come uh, like a little bit charging yeah. him again. Yeah. But then that's when his girl came up you know, and fucking, he's walking, he fucking, Hot Wheels wouldn't drop it. I'm done right now. Now yeah. I'm done with you being friends with like, you. I'm done talking about but this. But he did warn him. You come after me in that chair. And it's going to be a wrap. Ew. Yeah. Fucking, ew. Because what he was doing to you the other day. Ew. So, yeah, but I already told him because now everybody else is fucking... He was there when he ran you over. That's what I mean. Like, other people are not fucking... Can't, won't try to hold themselves back as much as I did. They will straight up punch him in the mouth and not give a fuck. About jail or anything well, like that. Fucking Hot Wheels got four punches in <sighs> by the fire, uh, and he got punched in his face four fucking times. That's fucking unbelievable. And, but he said that you know he didn't really have a strong swing, and I was like, you know, Bow Wow, do you think you know? Do you think he was trying to get you, you know, probably to? Give him a, a fucking death punch? Probably. Because he was screaming, Why don't you fucking kill me? Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Bow Wow didn't even hit him yet. Yeah. You know, because when he was on the curb, he was saying that. You know, uh, so when he, he went after Bow Wow. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheel car. When Hot know. Wheels is punching him in the head. It's not, it's no, not Bow hard. Wow, Bow Wow never punched him in the I head. I didn't say that. I said Hot Wheels punched oh, yeah. Bow Wow in the head. It wasn't hard. So, like, he couldn't. Uh, I, I thought I heard a couple, you know, good shots in. Well, it seems like when he makes a fist that his, no. hand, his fingers don't oh, close no, he all can, the way. He can fucking make a fist. He does this. And he fucking went whack. So he know, backed. Like knuckle drag. Yeah. You know, but fucking clocked him. So he went, whacked him four times and then he got punched in right the face. In his, in his ear. So fucking. Yeah. Sound. That's not gonna. Well, that. that 
by the end, he was like, you know, when he got, when Hot Wheels got Bad Well in his ear mm. with the punch, you know, Bad Well said, you know, hit me again because he retreated four fucking times. By the fifth time he was retreating, he got fucking, you know, he moved out of the way real fast because he was about to get him. He did get him with his legs. To you know, cocks, and he just skinned his baby mama's belly, you know, <sighs> and she thought she was going to go in labor. Fuck. You know, she, she ain't supposed having... to be in that stress like that. Well, she didn't even know. She went to fucking Walmart. You no, know? I mean, coming back and seeing all of that happening. Well, she first thought it was, you know, funny, you know, because like, cause they were joking she around. She didn't know yeah. it was serious. So, you know, that kid got punched. Long story short is Hot Wheels. He got punched in his back, Hot Wheels. And then you know, in his one of his, his fucking, chest. this kid was toying, Bow was toying with him, basically. Well, he wouldn't punch him in the, he wouldn't punch because him. Because he didn't want to make him bleed or, uh, fu- uh. No evidence. That's and all simple. Supposedly he fell out of his chair and I guess they're blaming it on Bow Wow. Bullshit. Well, either way. What happened after that was, this is what I saw, one of his workers, one of Hot Wheels workers walked out of the building and called the cops. Oh, and the lady cop almost tased him. Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me! Tase who, Hot Wheels? Yeah. (laughs) He deserves to be fucking tased. Well, he was screaming at the cops. They were asking about his bloody face. Yeah. Like, what happened? Was that from, you know, because he said the end... Punch me. <sighs> and I mean, that's the ER, not not the shit that you hear in rap songs. He used the old white. Yeah, racist term. Yeah. And, you know, and, you know fucking the fucking female, female cop did not like it at all. You know, did yeah. not like what he was saying. And then he was, I don't know exactly what he said to the, the fucking cops. But they seen him fucking talking, and then the cops grabbed their taser. Shit. He probably said something like, I'll fucking, I'll, I don't know, hit you, fight you. He said uh, something. Something that he was about to get arrested. And they were like, we're here for your behalf. And then he said, you know, like, you know, all you hear is, fuck you, you Dirty ass cops, you know, and oh. fucking called the cops the N word and said, You won't do anything about that, you know, that midget ass, you know. Dude, all I'm saying is and that if that was anybody else, and they fucking grabbed their, you know, was going, they grabbed their taser, the female, uh, but she didn't tase him. That's probably because she thought she would kill him. But, but I just want to state for the time. fucking record that if this was anyone else, there would have been jail involved in this situation. Seriously, he went to jail for uh Again, this is where what, this oh. is where the fucking chair prevails because these, he's using it as a fucking excuse to get away with bullshit. Little uh, uh Bella went after him. You know, but because Nobody fucking said anything because supposedly they wanted. Well, they wanted to. I know this part is that they wanted. They wanted to see if Bow Wow wanted to press charges on Hot Wheels, yeah, but, but Bow Wow is a lot like I me. I know that you know fucking really not because fucking. So they were just trying to get him to come out of the said, house. Yeah, but also they gave the wrong address. To, you know, Bowell's place. Who gave gave the wrong address? Uh, fucking... The worker? The worker, Hot Wheels. Because, you know, nobody comes up. So they were seriously about to arrest Bowell. I I think so. I'm I'm 100% sure because they went to KK's door. That's fucking dirty as fuck, dude. So it's nice to know that you can you can be a racist and you can and by the way this motherfucker did threaten to he's starting to stab me. He's starting to kill other people in here which got me on a 5 to 
almost five to seven years for a fucking accusation I, when people actually hear him say this shit and he gets away with yeah, it because his workers you know he only got a, a charge once and it was a minor one and he spent what like a little bit less than a day in fucking lockup it's ridiculous this is ridiculous i'm telling you, know, you he thinks that you know because he's in a wheelchair and he has said this to the cops that he you can't, can't arrest me def- because I'm fucking retarded. Bullshit, they you can't. Know, I got CP. That doesn't, doesn't matter. Mean that you're fucking retarded. You can speak. They have a medical wing where he will go. I've been there. That's where they put me. Just because you have a disability. Asian kids. You know, he got locked up for terroristic threats. It's bullshit, man. This kid, this kid is out of his fucking mind, and it's not over. Somebody's, I'm telling you, somebody's going to wind up getting severely hurt. I didn't tell you why he hit him. It wasn't, it, it wasn't just because you know Hot Wheels was hitting him. Hot Wheels kept on saying shit about his family. You know, he said, "You have adopted daughter." You fucking mm. That you can't take care of. You fucking mm. And then you're going to. Uh, he said that he has another kid, but I'm like, but it's not on the way. Uh, you know, it's on the way. He doesn't have you know have another one out here. You know, we keep on acting like that. You're gonna make her have that kid now. You know, and she's only. Six months going on seven. Fucking ridiculous. This kid is a fucking piece of shit. He really is. To almost hit a fucking pregnant girl. To but I use... don't think that he, he was meaning. I to... think he did. Because remember when he, he got into after. an argument with one of his quote unquote friends. Who got yeah, into no, a fight with this? Would punch her in her stomach. Yeah. And make her have a miscarriage. This is the kind of scumbag that you're dealing with, but because of that fucking chair, he's gonna always get away with shit. But that's all right. I'm gonna and his fucking. His came over yesterday. You know, I know. Before, I told them. You know, I told them about that. Trying to fucking, you know, apologize for him. Yeah. Well, too bad. I don't. Be like, no, you. You don't do it. He does it. Yeah, not only that, and not you clearly are not sorry when you're fighting the only people that were trying to help you, you dumb fuck. I think I think that you know, you know how sometimes you self destruct. Yeah. Things, yeah, but this is but all over a fucking yeah, I know dope addict. Dirty but fucking bitch. But I think bitch. that he wants to die. Then go kill yourself somewhere to fuck else. No, but I don't think he can do the suicide. So he wants suicide by somebody else. Uh, he wants. He's come on, motherfucker. Come on, hit me, hit me, kill me. And little Bell was like, "I'm not going to fucking kill you." You know, I won't. You know, because he's like, "Hit me in my fucking face, you fucking." And then he kept on saying it, you know, repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Oh, yeah, you've already, you already no, no. said that. No, no, this was N after N after N after N, trying to get him pissed off to hit him. And he wouldn't. It's fucking you know, stupid. until the baby. Well, th- that's it, man. For now, unless anything happens over the next couple of days that we need to add more to this. Well, he did say that he would talk about it. Yeah. You know, because he, you know, uh, fucking Bella's girl said that, you know, that would be good for him. Because she goes, sometimes you just need to let that shit off your chest. And Kevin said that you can do a podcast. Yeah. Do that shit. He could. But he came over, and then Bob was like, you can't, he can't do it right now because... He's in bed with a migraine. Yeah, I had a fucking flare up. Hot fucking triggered an MS attack. Yeah, because I can't. I can't get fucking worked up anymore like I used to because there's consequences to that shit now. If I would have just built it in. You were able to fucking hit him back. Because. Yeah, but I would have went to fucking jail. Not him, me. I would have went to jail. That's what would have happened if I would have fucking hit him. 
I'm telling you, I know it. Whether the law is on my side or not, it's not worth risking a year and twenty five hundred dollars in fines, not to mention lawyers and court fees for a fucking dickhead that wants to run his mouth because he thinks he's safe because he sits in a goddamn wheelchair. I'm telling you, man. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Oh man, I meant this in the nicest way possible, man. I work at Burger King making flavor whoppers. I would pay for hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding by the done, ding by the done, ding by the done, ding by the done. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Don't bump for fries and hot fat, it really hurt bad and so do skin grabs. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Where is the bell? Wait for the bell. Can't eat the bell. Where is the bell? Ding by the dun, ding by the dun, ding by the dun, ding by the dun. I was a Burger King making favor whoppers. I would pay for hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding by the dun, ding by the dun, ding by the dun. Ding by da da.